Do you want to learn how to create a subdomain in cPanel? To learn how, stay tuned. Do you want more tutorial videos like this? Hit the subscribe button and enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. Thanks. To create a subdomain in cPanel, we need to be on the home screen and find a category called domains and left click on a link called subdomains. Left click on this. Once you have done that, you'll be brought to the subdomains page. You will find a heading called create a subdomain with three fields and a button. It will ask us for a name for the subdomain, a domain which we'll be using for the subdomain, and a document root where the files for the subdomain will be stored. In this video, I'm going to call it test for our subdomain. Once you enter the desired name for your subdomain, click away from this field. As you can see, after you clicked away from the subdomain field, you will notice that the document root field has been pre-populated with public underscore html forward slash test. This means that by default, any subdomain will be appended under the public underscore html folder. You can change this if you so wish, but we're going to leave this by default. Once you're happy with the settings, click create. Once you click on the create button, you'll be prompted with a success message stating that your subdomain has been created successfully. To go back to the subdomains page, click on the go back link. To also validate your subdomain created successfully, you'll find your subdomain under the heading called modify a subdomain. Please note that once you have created your subdomain, it may require time to propagate. This can be immediately or takes 24 to 48 hours to propagate through the internet. To summarize the key points of this video, I've shown you how easy it is step by step to create a subdomain in cPanel. Music